Hello, welcome back to my channel. We have an exciting Ipsy and Boxy Charm. And not really an unpacking. I already unpacked it. We're doing investigative journaling on this episode. Um, no, I already did the deep dive on one star versus five star reviews, which I've never done on these before. But I wanted to make it a little nicer than normal, other than me just pulling a product out of a bag and being like, this is pretty, or I don't like this packaging. Um, no, I want to actually tell you what people that have used it have said about it and how much it is and um, like I already did the prices normally I just put it on screen I could have verbalize it to you now and um, I also have a toddler underneath of me who keeps stealing my water so it is now his water there you go and um, you are also on a ring light if you were like wow you look nicer today it's just the lighting um making me look glowy it is broken though um so I'm gonna have to figure out that situation. I'm going. And also, I think we should all agree to agree that I need one of those spinny chairs so I can spin while I'm talking to you guys and do some dramatic moments, you know? But this is a chair. Chair. Okay, we're gonna get in quickly because I don't like really long videos for these. 10 minutes and less, right? Ipsy bag, it is <laughs> used to be $10 per bag. It is now $14 a bag. It's very, very cute. So going into it, do not touch my already dying plant. Thank you. The most expensive item is by Formula Z. This is the Glamgasm. It's infused hyaluronic Z technology and vitamin E and it's supposed to make you glowy. It's in a mirrorless package, which I think we know how I feel about eyeshadow palettes that don't have mirrors. It does tend to cheapen it. I'm not going to be, I am going to be petty on that. It does cheapen it. This is really pretty though. Yeah. All of the colors are beautiful. The one star so reviews, so barely pigmented. Highlighters, basically just glitter. Seems cheap and very juvenile. I understand the cheap feeling of it. I do, this does not feel like $32 and they're very small. And then the five star said, I was so worried about this palette, but it arrived fine because a lot of the reviews were saying theirs came broken. Um, and she said, it swatches beautiful and she can't wait to use it. And she had actual swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that photo up of it so you can see it because if you guys don't know, I normally do not keep the eyeshadow palettes in these things. I usually give them away. And I obviously don't wanna touch that. So I just gave my mom like three of them the other day. All right, next up. Oh. I think I told you, this is full size, so it's $32. This is not full size. This is Frank Body Rosehip Body Scrub and Cleanser. Uh, it's a vegan scrub that melts into a cleanser, leaving your skin soft and smooth. Has rosehip oil, coffee, seed extract, and lavender oil. You're supposed to use it all over your skin and focus on areas that are prone to scarring and marks to help soften and fade their appearance. I'm excited to use this. This is a small size. This is not a full size. I do have um, a C-section scar, uh, mini scars, or like dermatology scars, um, and among other things. So I'm excited to see how it works. Although like my scars are sensitive. I feel like a lot of people have very sensitive scars. I have keloid scars, so I'm a little nervous about it not feeling nice on there, but I'm still gonna use it. This is worth $2.64 for this sample. One star review says, expensive for the quality, the texture of the scrub, and amount you receive is not up to par with the cost of the scrub. And then five star says, I'm obsessed with it. It feels and smells amazing and lathers so nicely. My skin feels smooth and was a perfect product during pregnancy. I was given this product paired with rosehip oil, body oil, and my stomach has gone back to how it was pre-pregnancy. Hmm. I don't think, um, I'm not an expert on being prego, but I don't think you're supposed to use scrubs when you're pregnant. I think like abrasion's not good for your like thinning skin there. Um, so I wouldn't suggest it for pregnancy, but I think like afterwards, absolutely. Um, vitamin E was my best friend, like bio oil during pregnancy, 100%. I know this is not about pregnancy, but if you're pregnant and you're looking for something, um, I would steer towards, towards vitamin E oil, uh, specifically bio oil. I would do that all over again. Immediately just lather yourself in bio oil. <laughs> Next up, Benefit. This is Plush Tint Moisturizing Matte Lipstick. 
I don't think I've ever had a lipstick that has been moisturizing. Like lipstick itself to my lips is very dehydrating. And the fact that it's matte, like I don't know how that is supposed to work either. Um, it says it makes lips look smooth and velvety while all day moisture and a long wearing lightweight formula helps lips stay comfortable. I just, I'm not comfortable in lipstick. So um, I think if you're used to wearing lipstick, it's supposed to be comfortable. Sample size value is $8.40 for this tiny little thing. Um, one star review says that almost all the reviews they read were incentivized, which like when I'm doing these, um, I try to do like verified purchases to tell you guys. And she said she uh, read such great reviews and it ended up like smudging all over her clothes, all over her face. Um, and it literally just doesn't dry. So um, would not recommend that one star review. And the five stars says this is by far my favorite lip product. Looks so pretty and is perfect alone. No liner or gloss needed. I've been receiving compliments. It makes my lips look plump, blurred, and she's obsessed. So I don't know. I'm usually like, I usually really like benefit products. Like typically bigger brands that are known for really amazing products um, only like to pump out really amazing products, but you also get hits and misses just on preference of people. Like I probably, I probably would not like this. Um, so I'm automatically no. knowing I'm gonna give it to someone else. Silky Heat Defense Serum. Um, it's for your hair. <laughs> it says to protect it from thermal styling, blow drying up to 450 degrees. I don't think I've ever gone over like 350 with my hair products. Sample value is $4.20. One star says, hair looks extremely greasy. I used a small amount and it still ended up looking greasy. I feel like that would be my <laughs> um, take on this too because that girl has, it says she has like fine hair and I as well do. Um, the five star says, I've never wanted to rate a product five star so quickly. This is honestly the first five star review I'm leaving and it's genuinely a 10 out of 10. My hair is so dry and feels like straw. Um, when she uses heat on it. I used this before and after blow drying and I can't emphasize enough how soft my hair finally feels. So I guess if you have like um, thicker damaged hair, this might be good for you. That is not the box for this. <laughs> and the last thing in the glam bag is by The Balm. This is the Rescue, um, to the Rescue under eye super jelly i can't read when you're touching it it is an under eye um balm and it is supposed to deliver a wide eye dose of anti-aging antioxidant protection while reducing under eye circles from a night on the town or a night like a toddler or a baby the sample size value is five dollars and 66 cents um, one star review said, I did not like this product. It made my under eyes extremely red and swollen and burned. So I'm assuming they had sensitive eyeballs. I do as well. And the five star said, I got this in my June glam bag and I absolutely hey. love it. It has a great texture that absorbs quickly and does great on immediately lightening my under eye circles. So everything in total valued $52.90. And if you don't remember from the beginning, the glam bag was worth $14. Like that's the price you pay for it. So it's almost always like a pretty big jump. I would say if you're someone that likes trying new products um, and it doesn't have like a lot of sensitivities, I think you would love glam bag. Um, but if you're someone that is very sensitive, doesn't wear a lot of makeup, etc., cetera, um, probably not for you. Next, last up, BoxyCharm by Etsy. Boxy Charm is $30. I don't know how much it started with in the beginning. It's been many, 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 many moons ago since I uh, purchased one of these. If you aren't familiar with my videos, I am somehow still um, blessed and being gifted <laughs> with these boxes, so I have not paid for these. Um, but I always eee. review everything just eee. in my own opinions. Uh, I don't ah. pay for this. This is not a sponsorship. I just ah. think <laughs> okay, first up we have Glow Recipe. I always am just like thrilled to get anything Glow Recipe in these boxes. Um, this is something I've not tried before. It's the Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. And I need a new cleanser. And so she is going up on deck for my next product I'm using. Um, it is worth $28. And all, everything in your boxy charm is full size. 
a gentle hydrating cleanser packed with ceramides and something oatmeal to nourish skin while effectively melting away makeup, SPF, and excess oil. Great because summertime, I constantly have SPF on and I'm getting breakouts from it. One star says, after using this product for a month, I unfortunately could not recommend using it. I have had bad breakouts since. So they have sensitive skin. Makes me a little nervous because I do too. The five star says, I love it. It makes my skin super soft and shiny, no breakouts, and smells great. So I don't know. This person also had might have sensitive skin maybe but they didn't break out with it so mixed reviews i'm still going to use it um it will end up in an empties if you're ever curious about things that i use and like how i truly feel about them because like obviously i can't tell you i'm not using this right now um look for my empties videos next we have this is neogen dermatology pantheon serum i don't know um it is i already looked it up 30 dollars full size says the hydration is so real with this serum it's packed with vitamin b5 b3 c and e and hyaluronic acid to provide deep and long lasting moisture the combo of these ingredients help replenish and strengthen skin's barrier so you're left with a soft and subtle subtle sub, subtle complexion um i did hear vitamin e and i was just telling you i love that um no sir no hey can you come play over here you want to play with something over here the one star says, mess up my face. I look, oh, I remember this. This one made me laugh. Mess up my face. I look like a darn dinosaur. Day one, my face is red, puffy, and itchy. It sounds like they're allergic to this. <laughs> Day two, less punchy, still red and burning. Day three, my face is peeling off like a reptile. <laughs> um, the five star review said this product works really well, and it's the second time I got this product. Actually, definitely helps with the skin, and I do use it twice a day. And I also have Asher trying on multiple vacuums right now. Sir, can you turn that one off? So she bought this twice. That means you have to love it then. By Pink Lips. This is $20 for this duo. It's a glass um, lip duo. It's infused with vitamin E. It not only provides a lustrous size. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. It not only provides a lustrous shine, but also nourishes and moisturizes your lips. I'm reading like the product descriptions when I'm doing that. One star, I was excited for the shades and honestly didn't see a tint of color, which is a big bummer to add to my lip choice of the day. But even then it dried my lips once and it was absorbed and I don't like that feeling. So I somehow yeah. lip gloss, yeah. which is very hard to dry yeah. your lips, it dried them. Mama. What? Oh, yay, this is mama. And dada. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Mama. Yeah, did mama. Five star, I'm not a big Yay. gloss. <laughs> I'm five star, I'm not a big gloss person, but it was very pleased with this pick. It's not sticky and mild color is just right for me. It goes on nice and smooth as an older woman. Does it make me look like a little girl? Honestly, like I feel that. I feel weird using lip gloss now. Cause it's something I use nonstop from like a little kid. And I know it's not like age dependent. It's just, it is kind of weird just pulling out my lip gloss. Last two products. We have by The Lifestyle Co. This is a line perfume. It's a travel perfume. This one is $40 full size. Their description is it's more than just a scent, it's an experience. It takes you on a romantic journey, aromatic journey toward balance and harmony with notes like, BB, can you just like, can you play with this? Can you turn your vacuum off? With notes like apple, bergamot, cedar, and sandalwood, is the perfect blend of freshness and warm. Also, he saw the string on my jacket, and so we're gonna deal with this for a little bit. Um, no. I've gotta be honest. Okay, initial <laughs> impression, I did not like this, but the more I'm smelling it, it does have like a very clean, warm smell. I could actually see myself using this. I don't know what it was at first, the first sniff. Um, one star says, and let's be honest, like perfume's really subjective. So like reading the reviews, unless it's about the time it wears off, it's not really gonna affect a lot of people's purchases. Um, smells very outdated. Not what I expected from the description, disappointed. I don't really know what that means, smelling outdated. 
Um, five star, I smell, I love the smell of my body and customers do too. They tell me all the time when I'm wearing it, it smells so good and they enjoy me standing around them. That is a compliment. I can only really remember like a few people that have really stood out to me that smell good where I'm like, where did you get whatever you're wearing from? Because they smell that good. And actually I used to have a bride and she, I think she got like three wedding dresses. She wasn't even my bride, but she was in the store that often that I just knew who she was. Um, and she smelled so good. And I'm finally, I was just like, please tell me what perfume you have. And it was Clinique Happy. And I still have not purchased that, but I need to because um, I don't, there's just something about that smell. Um, and very lastly by Rim Beauty, this is Blurring Primer. It's $29 and their description says it's the last step of skincare and first step of makeup. It blurs the look of pores and uneven texture and creates a smooth clamp canvas for makeup that lasts all day. My eyes, like, because of the ring light, there's like spots and I can't like actually see in front of me. Um, sensorial, I mean, I mean, tingle that cools on contact. Um, the five, the one star review says, I love the packaging. It's subtle, just to the point. I don't recommend this for someone who has oily skin like me though. I moisturize and prime my face like I always do, but this would not stick to my skin. I would apply it and wait for a few seconds and even minutes to apply foundation, but it would make me look muddy and it would move around my face. Some with a dry skin would work better. Um, so it sounds like oily skin, she's not recommending it for. And then the five star says, I didn't think I'd find a better primer than Fenty Beauty, but I think you left Re in the dust with this primer. Well done, my new go-to. All right. Oh, we have a baby down. Um, grand total of everything in that box was $155. And $30 is how much the box costs. So again, in my opinion, it's worth it, especially if you want to try new products and you like trying new products. If you're someone that has set products that they only use, this is not gonna be for you. But if you're someone that wants to like adventure out or maybe you don't have a lot to begin with, um, like for me, I look forward to them to get my skincare because skincare is expensive. And Ipsy boxes consistently outdo how much it would be if I were doing it on my own. You know what I mean? Even if I were paying for it right now, it would still 100% be worth it. So that are my notes on this month's Ipsy. Let me know what you think of this uh, style of doing it where I give you like the one and five star reviews and go out into more depth during the video. Um, and other than that, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video, which will most likely be a studio vlog. Bye.